Hey guys, it's me TJ with another preview of Crusader Kings 2 The Reapers Do. I just wanted to run down all of the new traits so that you guys can check those out, all the new traits that have been added. This isn't all the new traits, um, I'm not going to be showing off the specific diseases and disease symptoms, um, but you know all the, all the core traits I would say. Also these are not things that are available normally in the ruler designer for zero points, I just created a quick mod so that I could show them to you all on one screen without having to like cheat to give a, a single character all of these traits. Um, so there's a new trait, two new traits that I would just classify as like miscellaneous character traits, sort of along the lines of, you know, Gregarious and Shy, they're in that category. So there's Erudite. This character has a scholarly and bookish disposition. You get plus two learning and plus five church opinion. And Stubborn. Um, this character is stubborn as a mule, diplomacy minus one, stewardship plus one, vassal opinion minus five. Again, I apologize if these were there in Conclave. Um, I haven't played Conclave as much as I, I had. It, really, I haven't played as much Crusader Kings this year as I have every previous year that the game has been out. Uh, but those looked new to me when I was going through the game files, so I thought I'd include them. Um, Brawny and Frail are the... Well, these, these next four, I should say, are in a category of non-congenital versions of strong, uh, weak, uh, you know, genius, slow, all of those. Um, you can no longer get those traits later in life. You have to be born with them. If you're not born a genius, you're never going to become a genius. But they've added traits to kind of fill that gap of, like, someone who improves their, or, or you know sees their physical or mental abilities improve or deteriorate over time. Sorry if I'm wording everything like a freaking word salad this morning. So Brawny is the non-congenital version of Strong. You get plus two martial, plus one diplomacy, plus one health, plus one personal combat skill, plus five attraction opinion, vassal opinion, and tribal opinion. Frail is the non-congenital version of Weak. Minus one martial, minus 0.5 health, minus one personal combat, and minus five opinion to attraction and to vassals. Shrewd is the non-congenital version of genius or quick. Um, you get plus two to all stats. And dull is the non-congenital version of slow. You get minus two to all stats. The next category is, uh, these basically replace maimed. Uh, instead of getting maimed, you get a specific injury that, that affects some part of your body. So you can become one-eyed, minus one personal combat skill, minus five attraction opinion, plus five same trait opinion. So cyclopsies, cyclopes, I think actually is the Greek plural of that. I believe it's cyclopes. Someone who knows classical Greek, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they like other cyclopes, so there you go. One-handed, plus one learning, because I guess, what are you going to do besides sit around and read? Um, minus three personal combat, minus five attraction opinion, plus five same trait opinion. One-legged, plus one learning again, minus four personal combat skill, minus ten attraction opinion, plus five same trait opinion. Disfigured. Minus four diplomacy, minus 20 attraction opinion, and plus five same trait. Mangled is like the really bad one. Horribly wounded and now lives with a mangled body. So you get minus two to all stats, minus three health. So honestly, you're probably going to die. <laughs> Even the, the hunting focus probably won't save you from this one. Uh, minus two personal combat, minus 50% fertility, minus five attraction opinion, and minus five, or plus five same trait opinion. So... That's that's the one that like yeah you're you're pretty much dead, and then there's severely injured uh, minus two personal combat skill minus two martial minus two intrigue, minus twenty five percent fertility minus two health minus ten attraction opinion plus five same trait opinion. This one is temporary if you survive it. Um, I'm not sure what it downgrades into um, if it becomes one of these other traits or if it just becomes scarred. But it says. The damage dealt will never fully heal, so I'm suspecting it either turns into another injury trait or maybe there's a less severe version of this that I missed when I was going through the game files that this downgrades into. 
Valhalla Bound is the Germanic faith version of Crusader or Mujahid, basically. You get it by by winning religious victories for the for the Germanic faith. Um, I'm not sure if you have to participate in a great holy war or not, or if it's just something that you can get by fighting religious enemies. Uh, again, I didn't really comb through the game files to look at the specific parameters of how you get these. And then Shield Maiden uh, is available to female characters of the Germanic religion. Um, you, it allows you to be made a commander, even if the laws of the realm do not allow female commanders. You get monthly piety plus 10%, and religious same trade opinion plus 15%. Um, there are two additional ones that for some reason I couldn't get to show up in the ruler designer, no matter what kind of uh, messing about with the code I did. So, the Viking trait from, um, you know what, actually, I'm just going to start up, I'm going to start up a game and I'm going to use the console to, to show you this. I uh, should probably play as a Norse character. And we should probably play in the Viking Age. So I'll just go with Sigurd Ring here. Game rules screen, which if you saw my last preview video, you should be very acquainted with by now. Right, right. Um, so, there's the classic Viking trait, as you guys know, that gives you um, monthly prestige plus 0.3, plus one martial, plus one personal combat skill, same trait opinion plus five, same faith opinion plus 15, which you just get from going on Viking raids, basically. Well, there's now two upgraded versions of that that you can work up to if you continue to be an awesome viking. It's not Reaver, it's Ravager. <laughs> I had to pop out and check the actual file because um, I had it wrong. Alright, um, so Ravager is the upgraded version, plus 4.4 4 monthly prestige, plus 2 martial, 2 personal combat skill, and same faith opinion goes up to 20. This character is widely known as a fearsome Ravager of Viking few have fought and lived. And then there's even another one on top of that, if you're just a serious badass. Sea King, plus 0.5 monthly prestige, plus 3 martial, plus 2 personal combat skill, and same faith opinion goes up to 25. I think they forgot to add in the same trade opinion. That, well, maybe not. Maybe Sea Kings aren't necessarily prone to get along with other Sea Kings. Maybe that's why there's no same trade opinion bonus. This character is known and feared far and wide, wherever salt and water can be found. Wherever salt water can be found, there is a terror of the Sea King. So that's all the ones I could find that are definitely new. Um, it's possible I, I missed a couple, but I, I went through the game files fairly thoroughly. So I think that's all the new traits for the Reapers do. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out loresworn.com is our website, at Lorsworn Order on Twitter, and I am at AsaTJ, A-S-A-T-J. Stick around for a lot more Crusader Kings content coming very soon.